hey everyone you're welcome back to my channel on today's video I'm going to be sharing two recipes or two things we used to eat in boarding school if you went to boarding school in Nigeria you probably know this already yeah so let's get into it the first one is cabin flakes if you know cabin flakes hit that like button right now this was the ish I loved eating cabin flakes it was just like an adaption of cereal you know because it's like biscuits in milk I mean like cornflakes in milk or whatever and what you need you need your cabin biscuits you need powdered milk you need some sugar and you need some water that was it people have different ways of making their cabin flakes but I'll show you how I like to make mine bear in mind you don't open your cabin biscuit by tearing the pack open no we turn it over go to the back and make an incision or like make a cut you know a slit in the back or like a little window in the back because you're trying to preserve the crunchiness of the biscuit and even after doing this we used to put it in a nylon bag just to make sure it's fresh for as long as it lasts you know so that's what i'm doing here just cutting it open from the back let me add that cabin biscuit is not what it used to be in fact when i saw this cabin biscuit and i bought it and i you know lifted i was like why is it feeling so light Cabin biscuit that I know used to, you know, it was substantial. When you held the pack, you know that, okay, there's something in there. But it felt so light. And then after opening, I noticed that they had started packing them in, like, this individual packs of maybe 10 or 12 or something like that, you know. And then the biscuit itself was smaller. Oh, my God. Like, what is going on? It didn't look as bright and shiny as regular cabin biscuits used to look. I decided to give it a taste as well. It didn't it taste bland like it didn't give me that cabin biscuit taste that we love and enjoy and I'm like what is going on I guess inflation is affecting everybody but I mean they could have just kept the quality and maybe increased the price like don't you know make me <laughs> don't traumatize me man I still want to have those memories and experience them sometimes anyway I haven't had cabin flakes in years it's been over 15 years since I left secondary school but this is exactly how I used to make my cabin flakes. So I put my cabin biscuit in the bowl. I put a lot of milk on top of it, my sugar, and then some water. And you'll see exactly how I do that. I know some people make theirs by, you know, mixing the milk with water and sugar first, and then they break like individual biscuits into it so that it remains crunchy or um, some people like it soggy and they just you know break everything up at once into the milk mixture but this is how I like mine because I feel like it gives you the best of both worlds so you get some soggy bits and you, you get some of the crunchy biscuits still in there and the trick was the amount of water you put you don't put too much water to soak everything up you put just enough water to keep some of the biscuits wet and you know soggy and some of them dry and crunchy and if you notice I don't break the biscuit up ahead I break it while I'm mixing so that is my little tip <laughs> I don't know who's going to go ahead and eat cabin biscuits in today's day and age I mean but whatever that's what we used to have and I really used to enjoy it a lot so yeah if you're liking this video give us a thumbs up if you went to boarding school in Nigeria give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't now let's move on to the next one this was the ish okay it is iron toast if you used to have iron toast leave it in the comments and let me know now for iron toast all you need is your bread you need butter you need butter it's compulsory because that's what makes the toast toast okay you need some paper because you're going to put your bread in between the two you can't put your iron directly on your bread so you're going to put your bread in between two sheets of paper and then you need the pressing iron I mean you can use any kind of pressing iron just make sure it's not a steam iron that would release steam and make your bread soggy and if you're hearing any baby noises, my baby is here right beside me. Hello, baby girl. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, butter both sides of the bread, put it in between the paper, and put the iron on top of it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's as easy as that. It's as easy as that, okay? I'm sure a foil will do a better job, but 
we were in boarding school we didn't have foil you know and we we're just trying to replicate what we had at home and enjoy it in school so we just had to improvise and make do with what we had okay so this is exactly how we should do it but i think if, if you have foil it would be better and i know that there are some schools now you know these days boarding school is different from our days <laughs> there are some schools now that they have like a kitchenette and in the kitchen they have like a toaster oven or they have like a pop-up toaster they have a microwave and students can go in there and you know make themselves some snacks and stuff so they don't they don't have to do all this drama that we used to do but if you guys don't have any of this i mean I, I i wonder if i have any secondary school student watching my channel or if you have any sibling in secondary school you can just give them some tips by the way i don't even know if they still do all these things i wonder what boarding house is like these days Oh yeah, I will show you guys that paper. It's from souvenirs from my wedding. Um, yeah, um, notepad. That's a page from a notepad since 2018. <laughs> yeah, I, we just have some of the notepads for keepsake. You know, just for keepsake. Anyways, like I was saying, I wonder if boarding houses these days are, you know, what they used to be during our time. Like, do people still do stuff like this? This is a part one of a two or three part video. I'm going to show you guys some other interesting things that we used to do, you know, just to replicate foods from home. And there were many other things like buying suya, like we'll send the gate man to buy suya, or <laughs> boarding school was something. So all I did was I increased the heat of the iron to the max. Put the iron just on it. You don't need to move it around as if you're pressing close. Just put it on it. And it's going to start to toast you're going to smell the butter it's going to melt it's going to steam up and look at that look at that delicious looking toast so of course depending on how dark you like your toast you can leave it longer and then just turn it around and do the next you know the other side of the bread and I mean that's toast that is basically your toasted bread <laughs> in boarding school goodness gracious the things we used to do man i don't know what i did wrong look at the thing got stuck and i don't remember if this was something that used to happen often but it got stuck on the other side of the page maybe the butter wasn't enough or it rubbed off on the plate you can see the butter residue that was left on that plate maybe that's what happened but yeah it's not like i'm trying to make iron toast to eat i'm just you know showing you guys Although I tasted it and it tasted like toast, it tasted exactly how it used to taste. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically <laughs> this thing makes me laugh so much. I mean, this was really a thing, oh, like it was a thing. It was a real thing. Anyways, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video and you want to see more of these kinds of videos, please hit the like button. Get me to 1k subscribers before the end of March and I will see you guys in the next video. Bonus tip. Make sure you wipe the iron down while it's still hot because if you let it cool, the butter is just going to harden and it's going to be a mess. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't liked the video. If you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.